It's been an incredible journey over the past year. The first times that the students got to be on the bus was that very first week of school. A lot of the students would come on and they get to write notes on the backboard and just kind of say what they loved about the bus. The name of the bus is Community and it has the Q for Queensbury. It's the idea of connecting the community with our school. I've seen students that I've had in the past who use very little language. When you put something in front of the kids that they can do together, like draw together or make a pizza together, they start to talk to each other the way they don't always talk in the classroom. Teaching coding at a young age is very important. Here in New York, we have computer science and digital fluency standards that we want to make sure from day one in kindergarten that our students are getting the skills they need to be successful in whatever it is they want to do tomorrow. We use technology throughout the day in my classroom. Technology can be scary, especially for veteran teachers that just didn't grow up using it. Well, I think these kids know more than we do. So I have found that the kids have taught me sometimes things that I haven't even realized and figured out myself. We're not talking about that traditional experience that you might have had in school where you sat in a row and the teacher did the talking and you took the notes. Here, the students are experiencing anything they're curious about. They can explore, they can modify, they can change, they can examine. It really becomes a place where we're really using those critical thinking skills that we know are super important for them to be successful. The community bus is a true collaboration between the community and the school district. The idea was started in 2018 from our superintendent. Over time, I realized that our old school buses were often being wholesaled. And so I realized that we could keep a bus, renovate it, and services our families and our students. We could use literacy, STEM activities on the bus. But also we can help with a lot of other things, delivering lunches, blasting Wi-Fi to different buildings. Laundry detergent, clothes, farm to table programs, so we're able to take a grill. It's gone to the library, it's gone to parks. We did trick-or-treating off of it. When they did a breast cancer walk, we had students on here doing activities. It was a blank inside bare bus when we started. A small idea became something big. We had to remove windows and replace them with walls. All of the stickers that you see, all the decals, those were all done by high school students. So this was a, a down-home, all-together experience that really everybody in the district had a part of. I think back to those, those moments and it, it makes you proud. It's going to be here for longer than I'm in this district. We're starting to hear that other districts might be interested in doing something like this. And I would say the best thing to do is to ask your students, have them be involved in the process. Leading is about having a team together. Build your team and keep the vision. Have fun with it. Know that it's going to be great for kids in the end.